Who the heck decided to use that face <laughs> holding a dart? X shot, you got a good sense of humor. Well done. Hey everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a hat. I'm working on some stuff behind me right now, so don't worry too much about that. Instead, worry yourself about X shot. We talked about X shot a little bit towards the end of last year in depth mainly because they didn't really put out blasters in 2021, and I was wondering why that might be the case. Well, not too long after that video, I did get contacted by someone at XShot, and I actually talked to them. And they showed me some stuff they were working on. And I wasn't allowed to talk about any of that until now, or like until a week or so ago, because I'm a little late to this party. And yes, I'll backpedal a little bit. They did put out some new things last year, or into the early parts of 2022. Some people were showing me that they were seeing the uh, what little extinct dino pistol. I've seen that as well now in stores, so I'm aware of it. Yes, yes, I know it eventually came out to the US. And they did those reskins of the Orbit Meteor for FaZe Clan. I obviously got that and talked about it earlier, but we're talking about new stuff now. What has XShot been cooking up? Well, it's here. The box has arrived from XShot. The new XShot Skins. Huge thank you to XShot for getting this to me. They only sent me the box to talk about and review. They didn't send me any other uh, promotional stuff. I'm not paid to be talking about this, but I am very thankful to have it now in my possession. It says skins. The box is actually kind of cool in that you can open it up. What? I just hit myself in the throat. So you can open up the box and then it opens into a few more panels. This is the absolute worst way to show it off but I'm committed at this point, so we're gonna keep it. If I angle up, you can see a little bit better, hopefully, or I'll take a better picture on how this opens up and reveals the big boy underneath. In fact, I just noticed this the other day. If you go to their Instagram, you can see they've added all the new blasters. So you can see all the new paint schemes there. I guess you could go to their website too, but you know, the images rotate. So you can see both sides. And you can see that both sides are indeed painted. And the four different blasters we've got are the Menace, the Flux, the Dread, and the Last Stand. So the Menace are these small ones, and they're like the, I thought originally, um, micro reskins. They might not be exactly that, but that's how they were kind of described to me before. The Flux is a, a kickback, I think, reskin. I think that's the one it was. The Dread is a reskin of their, whatever, Flip Blaster um, from before. And then the last stand, I think, is the most original. And that's the one I was most excited to see in person because it's kind of like their flagship. Now, XShot sent me a few notes here, so really quick. Hey, XShot League, it's time to hashtag choose different. I don't know if I love that hashtag, but okay. With our latest blaster innovation, XShot Skins. We're bringing the in-game experience of skinning your blaster into the real world with our state-of-the-art printing technology, making the most innovative blasters on the market. Now, for the first time ever, you can choose the blaster that speaks to your interest and your personality. There are 27 X-Shot skins to collect and build your armory. You'll also notice we've upgraded our darts with new and improved air pocket technology for a further, faster, and more accurate shot. Harder, better, faster, stronger. X-Shot. We love seeing the videos and content you guys create, so don't forget to tag us. Well, you'll get what you ask for, I suppose. So no, at this time, you can't customize your own X-Shot blaster with a unique skin, but they are saying that there are many different options of a similar blaster. So X-Shot's going very hard into this skin option, where we've seen many different reskins on the market before. They're saying this is probably one of the most unique things that's ever been done in that category, where some people would critique before that making reskins is not making anything new, this is the whole point. They want you to have new skins and they think that that itself is a cool collector's gimmick. I absolutely love this guy for being a not Call of Duty, but it's a, you can see some of the verbiage, Call to Duty, Special Ops, peekaboo, X shot. It's not actually licensed. And then just in time for July 4th, we've got the all American one. The menaces are small, they're cute, and they're the least expensive. Then you've got the Flux. Not to be confused with Dr. Flux. He is not a blaster, he's a man. This blaster has the same kind of kickback that you would get in their previous ones. Which means that if you don't have any darts, you can still just... There's dart storage in the front on these guys, whereas on the smaller guys, there's only dart storage 
um, that's going to run perpendicular. But funny enough, if you compare the primes, you can see that the uh, priming bar on the super small menaces is thicker than the flux. The X-Shot Dread. Now, I've seen this skin as well. It's the, I wrote it down, it's the boom. However, X-Shot, you funny. This is the X-Shot boom with a slight modification to it. Do you see right there? Do you see my name and my face? If you've been on Instagram recently, you may have noticed that there are others who got dreads, boom variants, with their faces and names also on them, and some of those are pretty cool as well. However, they're not this cool and they're not this funny. You can fight me on that one. Who the heck decided to use that face? <laughs> Holding a dart, a Nerf Elite dart. I don't believe you can get this actual skin variant. I'm sorry, it's a one of a kind. But when I first saw that, holy smokes, I wish I was recording my reaction. I died. I could not wait to show people this. X-Shot. You got a good sense of humor. Well done. I don't know why they chose this photo. I did not direct them to choose this. It's like a, a screenshot. And I looked for at least half an hour before making this video. I don't know where they got it from, guys. If you can find where this screenshot came from, I'll, I'll pin your comment. Leave it in the comment section down below. Sorry, how does the blaster perform? I'm so overwhelmed with just the fact that my face is on this stupid thing. This could have been how it's been from before, but when you pull the secondary, it actually just releases the two cylinders and so and then they're free so you do have to rotate it into place now it is still pretty quick and easy to do that you can see as well they are trying to rotate one direction more so than the other the boom brett paint scheme i <laughs> could not get over that and lastly of course we've got the last stand dragon variant now this guy is definitely much bigger than the others and as a result it is the most expensive in the line you can call it the flagship blaster it's a pretty good size for me i'm a small individual but comfy foregrip decently comfy grip as well the stock fits me pretty nicely. Again, short guy, but no complaints on that. The cylinder does rotate pretty freely if you spin it and you're not primed. When you are primed, it doesn't go anywhere at least. It's pretty loud when you uh, prime it, but there's a reason for that as well. This blaster has slam fire. If you hold down the trigger and you pump back, it has just fired. Forward, fire. Forward, fire. That's interesting. Now, if you just prime and fire again, that's the single shot mode. On this one as well, you've got a pretty long rail across the top, but they don't include any attachments and I don't think they're going to in the future. So just FYI, all these other little bits and bobs are just for display purposes. Now there is definitely one thing I need to address with the X-Shot skins line, and that is the plastic. These blasters are competitively priced. That's a wonderful thing. X-Shot's always been able to do that. And I love that. Unfortunately, they do feel pretty thin in the plastic department, and it's the most noticeable with something like the last stand. If I hold this, aim it at you, bye-bye, I can twist it a little bit and you can see just how thin some of those plastic parts are. And it's, you know, not ideal. You can see this, this cylinder turn a little bit as well. I don't know if I would want to abuse this blaster too much because it could snap. Um, especially again on something like this where I can feel it's really, really light. It's very, very hollow. It seems to have decent power. It seems to be really well fitted to my body. I'm just saying if you compare it to another blaster you have, you might notice that this one feels really, really light and therefore really fragile. And that starts to get less apparent as you go down in size. Like I can start to torque this one a little bit as well. But again, it's a little bit less noticeable because the plastic just isn't as long. It's not as hollow. Same with the Flux, like, oh, this one, there's a little bit there, but it's a, it's a pistol, right? It's super light, but it's a pistol, so you weren't noticing it as much. But as a result, the tiny guys, the menaces, these things are great because there's very little dead space that isn't just blaster. So as a result, these things feel pretty normal. They feel pretty good, and they have, again, freaking good seal. Love that. So I think that is worth pointing out, especially if you use your blasters a lot, which sounds kind of funny, but for these blasters, there's definitely a display element to them. I'm sure some people will get these and never take them out of the box, never use them. 
And that's fine because that might be something that you want to do. They're definitely banking on that. And if you like that, then this is definitely going to be something to check out. And if it's not for you, well, then don't. Yeah. Now, of course, some of you have been waiting this entire time for the darts. That one little offhand comment that is more exciting than any blaster I could possibly show you. This is very interesting to finally see X-Shot changing up their darts. Many of us would say it's a bit overdue, but hey, better late than never. No, these are not half darts. That's also been something on the rumored horizons and I have nothing to share with you on that. Sorry. You can see it's got those three holes in them, or I should say one hole and then two parentheses. And I did do some quick checking, like pulling a head off of one and here's a head off of another. These are super squishy heads. I don't know why they're so squishy, but they are very squishy. You can see that's not too long of a dart stem as well. And you could also see it wasn't too much effort to pull these things from their dart body. The foam quality itself feels fine. I don't think we've ever had a problem with that for X-Shot darts. The accuracy is going to be something we test a little bit more in time. I haven't been to an event to even use these yet. Just firing out of the blasters, they seem acceptable. And it looks like just because of like how wide the head is versus the actual diameter of the foam, you might be able to get them in some sealed breaches, but because this head is also just so squishy, I don't know how effective they're going to be. Given that X-Shot's previous darts were some of the least desirable darts to use, because since their heads usually were a little bit wider than the actual foam dart itself, meant that you could only front load them into other blasters, this is gonna hopefully be a little bit more cross compatible. Cause yeah, you can fit these in full length, um, Nerf magazines, X-Shot magazines, Dart Zone magazines. <laughs> we could cut them down and start putting them in half length blasters. Oh. I, maybe we shouldn't do that yet. We're getting too far ahead of ourselves. Yeah, these little guys, I think, are the stars of the show. I really liked the look of the flagship last stand, and I absolutely freaking love my face on a blaster. However, I think for the average consumer, the average collection person, Bruh. collection person, the average person who collects, these guys are amazing. So if you find a style of the menace that you really, really like, I say definitely go out and get them. Obviously, they are not going to fit into your hand. The handle is too small. They were not designed to fit into your hand. And yet at the same time, they're just enough material that you can still grab it, but it's like, it's not uncomfortable. I look forward to showing these off on the street to random people that I meet, and this one still just cracks me up like nothing else ever has. Any other company that wants to make me laugh, this is the bar that has been set. Yes, it could have said Burt. It could have been a little bit more niche to my channel as well, but come on. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I have one more thing in mind given all of this recent X-Shot stuff to say thank you. But in the meantime, happy blasting. Uh, choose different. Hashtag choose different. That's what they told me to say because it's in the card. And I will see you uh, in the Burt Zone.